Today I'm going out flying. I'm on my way to the uh, European Championships in Taekwondo Pumse. I'm the head coach of the Norwegian national team and uh, I'm meeting up all the uh, players uh, down there. It's in uh, Turkey and we're starting to compete uh, tomorrow. So uh, join me on the trip. Hello, thank you. Both me and Pei became instructors in martial arts uh, at uh, an early age. I think I was around 15 years old when I started to teach classes. Um, and back in the days when we ran our own gyms, uh, we met a lot of uh, kids and uh, young uh, people who we worked with and trained to become good athletes and also instructors and uh, future leaders. Now these fantastic youngsters are grown-ups today uh, and uh, have their own career and uh, they are great, uh, many of them are great athletes and instructors uh, and I'm also very proud to call many of them uh, my friends. One of these uh, young athletes was Nina Bansal. Uh, she was very determined uh, and dedicated to be uh, great and she is today one of the best taekwondo athletes in the world and i don't think that anybody has uh, won uh, so many medals uh, in taekwondo for norway than nina and her colleague uh, joachim uh, now nina has always uh, helped us and supported us uh, in the early years and that is why I do today what little I can do to help her uh, and that is why I am the head of the Norwegian national team. Both Nina and Joachim are the ruling European champions and I want to inspire them to perform but it is also very inspiring for me to see the dedication they have and the hard work that they put in to perform among the best in the world. So we have a small team, but it's a great team. That is why I am very proud to be uh, on the mat here in Turkey to coach them through the European Championships. So that's kind of the background for why I'm here and uh, what I have, uh, what kind of roles I have also in my uh, spare time. Early morning here in Turkey. Nina is competing today. Getting uh, ready. Uh, meeting the team now, uh, just around the corner. So let's see if they're in good shape. We'll get some uh, something to eat and then uh, get in the bus to the uh, competition venue. Accreditation. All good. Ready to go. You're competing today? Yes. How are you? Mm, right now I'm feeling relaxed. Relaxed? Yeah. Really? Shouldn't you be very nervous <laughs> and stuff? Because, uh, I mean, it's the European Championships and all. Yeah, I think no. I will be nervous, <laughs> but right now I'm relaxed. Very good. That's, uh, that's the way it should be. Yeah. So, do you have now a technique for uh, staying relaxed? Mm, I just think I have to myself mentally, yep. I listen to music, relax, yeah, just be in my zone. Yep. When, the, when you go out there, how do you like prepare to like really uh, be awesome? Try to visualize and just think positive yeah. and think about previous competitions which has been good. And trust that you're uh, capable to uh, Do it. perform. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So what do you say? We just get out there and be awesome. Yeah. Why not? Feel the music, the rhythm, a heart on a mission. Can't fight the feeling, and I'm not denying it. No. I'm here to lose a control. Got emotions and yeah, yeah. emotions. From my 
We are now back in Oslo, and uh, me and Nina are sitting here taking uh, a cup of coffee. She is, of course, uh, more healthy, <laughs> drinking vitamin well water. Yep. First of all, Nina, can you explain how how did the Europeans go? Um, well, first of all, it went well. I yes. won. Hooray! <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. So uh, that's good. Yeah. But apart from that, it's um, yeah, it was quite challenging this time. Yeah. For some reason, I felt confident, but also very insecure because from the first round, I was really nervous because I had won two years before. Yeah. So I was like, uh, everyone was like, will she defend the title or not? So I kind of had the pressure on me, but I always thought there are so many other good people in this group, so just focus on what you're going to do. So <clears throat> from the early days, you were the you were the underdog, yeah. and now you were the uh, the uh, ruling champion. Yeah. What's the difference? Like, can you explain a little bit about that more? Uh, well, honestly, it's like uh, I never think that I'm the favorite or anything like that. I always think that everyone else is so much better than me. Uh, but that keeps me. Um, when I think about it, it's like people tell me that, oh, you're the reigning champion, you're gonna win, blah, blah, blah. Then it's like, whoa, okay, I am the reigning champion, so what do I have to focus on now? Yeah. So apart from the people, I always think that I'm the underdog, no matter what. But you think it's more difficult to be the favorite than to be the underdog? Mm, yeah, in a way, yes. Yeah. Because uh, everyone is watching you all the time, your opponents, everybody yeah. in the venue. If you do one small yeah. mistake, everyone is like, oh my god, she yeah. did a mistake. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah, if you're underdog, nobody cares. <laughs> no, and then you just, uh, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I or they just cheer for you because they wanted to succeed. Yes. Mm -hmm. But just to mention it, then uh, Nina. <laughs> Uh, it did take the gold for the second time in the European Championships. Um, how many Norwegians have done that before you? I don't think anyone actually. No. Nobody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody. So she's uh, she's historical and uh, in Norway anyway. Yeah. Of course. <clears throat> and um, Joachim also uh, brought home the silver this time. Yes. He, uh, he took the gold last time. So both of you actually uh, was historical the previous European Championships because nobody from Norway had ever taken a medal yeah. in the European Championship before. Mm. So that's cool. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. But Nina, you are both an instructor, a very good one, the national coach. You're the best athlete. And you work as a manager in a junior high school. Uh, so how do you get these good results? What's the, your secret? Um, <laughs> actually, there's no secret. Um, as I mentioned before, you have to have uh, a passion. And if you really like something, you always will, you always find some way to work it out. Yeah. Uh, because I know I have to work to pay my bills and everything. Um, and then I know if I work, I have to do everything between the hours I work. Yeah. So I need to finish all the work when I'm there. So when I go home, or discipline. Yeah, discipline. throughout the day, <laughs> your work day. Yeah. Of course. <clears throat> so you need to be hard on yourself, and because this is what you want, hundred yeah. percent. If you yeah. don't want it, then it's difficult to uh, find a discipline. So guys, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned uh, for a new episode next week. And do remember to hit the subscribe button.